everyone, it's Patty. So I wanted to share with you another one of the back to school prep um, videos in the series for August. And this one is kind of a why we homeschool. And then the back to school prep part is my goals for the year. And I think it's really important to sit and make goals for the year. And I think that's one of the really fun things with homeschooling is they don't have to be these like academic state standard goals that you're trying to achieve. I remember when I was a teacher, I used to have to make these SMART goals and they have to, they were um, these really high academic goals for our kids and you had to try to reach that no matter the circumstances of the kids and the types of kids. And although I think, of course you want your kid to be really smart and know a lot of things, but I feel like there is so much more than that and our goals should be so much uh, more than that because every child is different, every child is unique, and every child has things that they're good at that you want to help them thrive in. So um, that goes into one of the reasons why we homeschool. Um, I was a teacher before I became a mom and I just saw a lot of the backgrounds of at least where I live of um, I feel like the fun of education, I remember when I was little, I loved learning. I had such a love for learning, and I feel that love for learning has been taken out of schools. And I really want our kids to have a love for learning, and that's a really big deal for me. Um, I want them to pursue what they really enjoy and want to learn more about it and, um, you know, work at the things that they're not so good at and try to improve in it, you know? Um, and I also, we are Christians, and I feel like um, obviously in schools you can't build that foundation of faith around education. So I want uh, our foundations of faith and what we believe to be um, incorporated in our kids' education. So those are the main reasons why we homeschool. I want the kids to have a freedom in their learning. I want them to be able to thrive in their learning and the things that they love. Um, and then I want to step, be able to establish their foundations of faith and what we believe and incorporate that into their education. So those are the main reasons why we, um, why we homeschool. Um, and I am so happy that we have the opportunity to homeschool and that we live in a place where we're allowed to do that. And I'm so thankful for that. So anyways, um, I sat down and I thought about what I really want my goals to be for this year, what Leah is starting kindergarten this year, and what are the things I really want to focus on as a whole. Um, it's not specific SMART goals like we would do in teaching. Um, these are just generals, you know, and I want to look back on the year and, and see, okay, did, did we work on those things? Did we, how did we do? Is this something we need to reevaluate for the next year? Those types of things. Like I said, these are generals. Um, obviously, by the end of kindergarten, there are certain things you want your kids to know. Um, but to me, those are within the curriculums you pick. Uh, a lot of those things are, like, we will learn those things as we go, you know. Um, but these are the cores of what I want and the reasons why we want school. Otherwise, if I just wanted her to know everything she needs to know by the end of kindergarten, I would send her to regular school. Okay, so goal number one is in kindergarten, because we, we really haven't focused a ton on this, and I really want to hammer hard on this this year, and it's for her, teach her the foundations of her faith. So Leah has started asking a lot of questions like, uh, where does God live? Uh, who is God? Those types of questions, and I really want to teach her the foundations of her questions, and teach her how we can find those answers for ourselves. Obviously she's not really, she just started reading like basic sight words, so she can't go to her Bible and search for those things, but kind of teach her those foundations. Also, teach her the mindset of, um, okay, like we, if we're arguing with our sibling, how can we show them grace, like how Christ shows us grace, and those types of things. I want to teach her those things, because I feel like in the busyness of life, I don't sit down to teach those things as often as I should. So, um, 
that is goal number one. I really want to be intentional about teaching those things in kindergarten. Um, okay, so goal number two is to help teach her to be more independent. Um, her personality, I think in combination with her being the first child, she is very non-independent. Like she relies on us to do everything for her. Um, she is capable of dressing herself, but she always wants us to dress her. She is capable of brushing her teeth, but she wants us to brush her teeth. She's capable of many things. She knows how to do them, but does not. So something I want to teach her is to be more independent. So get herself dressed, make her own bed, brush her own teeth, those types of things. Obviously, I'll make sure she's doing them correctly, tying her own shoes. Though she actually does not know how to tie her shoes. I do need to teach her that one in kindergarten. But um, there's a lot of things she knows how to do, but we kind of, since she was our first and we have two other littles, it's just easier to do it for everyone. Um, so we want to teach her to be a little bit more independent and start doing more things on her own. Start having some chores, start incorporating allowance, money saving, buying things with the money she saves, those types of independent things I want to do with her. Having her set of chores that she needs to do, I really want her to have. Um, and work hard if she wants to buy something, you know. Um, goal number three is foster her love for art. Recently she has said she wants to be an artist when she grows up. She loves drawing and that is totally new. If you have been following my channel for a long period of time, you know she has really struggled with any type of drawing, writing, and she really has grown into that. She really has a love for drawing now um, and I just wanna encourage that and continue to encourage that. Now if her I know she she just turned five. She's on the younger end of kindergarten, so um, I know it might change. But whatever is her interest, I want to make sure I foster those loves. For example, I asked her. I said, "What?" I we were sitting at the breakfast table, and I said, "What are the things you want to learn this year in kindergarten? What would you really like us to work on?" And she told me she really wants to learn about space and a lot about space. And then she wants to learn about healthy foods and fruits and vegetables. And I thought that was really fun. So I don't know, she's really interested in what's healthy and what's not. So maybe foster that love for nutrition um, and health and fitness and those things. But her interest, I really want to be intentional about incorporating that into our education. So if we're doing math and she's really into drawing, I want to incorporate that into our learning. So um, be intentional about her interests and incorporate that into our education. Goal number four is establish a love for reading. I think reading is really important and I want her to have a love for it. I am a math person, I love math, but I think it's really important to have a love for reading. I think you need to, like reading is so important. So um, I want to encourage her to have a love for reading and establish a love for reading. So. Whatever types of books she likes, encourage that. And um, just, I, my education is going to be very literature based um, because I think that's really important. So, and incorporate a lot of literature into her learning. Um, and then the last goal is encourage a love for learning, improvement, and work ethic. So, Leah, a lot of times when we're sitting to learn, um, especially last year because we did a lot heavier curriculum last year um, is she when she cannot do something she does not want to try she doesn't want to try to get better at it she just wants to give up so I want to encourage a work ethic and encourage her if she is not good at something to work hard to become good at it to get better at it and just encourage more of a work ethic in her um, because right now it's if I can't do it I don't even want to try to do it um, and I want her to have a try and if she can't do it understand that you can't be perfect at everything and that it's important to at least try and try to improve um, because you're not going to be perfect at everything in life and not life doesn't revolve around us and our love for the things that we're only good at so obviously I want to foster the things that she's good at and encourage those things, but the things she's not good at, she still needs to try. She needs to try to get better at them. And I wanna 
encourage a good work ethic within her and to have a positive attitude when she's not good at things. So those are my goals for the year with her. Like I said, these are not necessarily academic goals, but they are my goals for her and for me as a teacher um, to her. These are my goals for our year, the things I wanna focus on as I am teaching her with the curriculums um, that I chose. So the curriculums will, I feel like I chose really good curriculums and they'll do the academic work, but these are the foundations and she's not gonna grow unless we have these established and then the curriculums with it, you know? So those are my goals. Let me know if you guys sit down and do goals for your kids um, each year. If you do, what are some of the goals you guys have? I would love to start conversation in the comments about what you think is important to focus on when you're homeschooling, why you're homeschooling, I would love to hear it. And if you are liking my back to school prep series, give this video a thumbs up and let me know what types of videos you wanna see um, because I am filming every single day in August so I can definitely throw in a few more that I don't have on my list if you have any requests. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye.